going to show you what happens when you do it from a, uh, a memory card. So I'm just going to plug in a memory card here. And because I didn't have the option checked that says, give me the import dialog every time there's a box, I have to go through manually. So I go down to the import button down here, bottom left of, of the panels. And all right, close that. OK, here we go. We're recognizing EOS Digital. And let me just pick, I'll pick a handful of images, OK? And I'm going to go through, and I'm going to uncheck all. And then I'm just going to check these that are selected. So I'm not bringing all the images in. So you'll see now, again, we're working left to right. So on the left-hand side, you'll see um, the source. That's the, the CF card, EOS Digital. Uh, on the top now, what you want to do with them, it says copy. Um, because it recognizes that the CF card is a temporary place, so it's going to copy the images. Um, you could do move if you were really daring, but it's then if you get stopped with the process in, in mid-flight, then you may have an issue and lose images. So it's going to copy it. It's not going to take them off the CF drive. It's going to copy them from the, the, the CF card to wherever you want. And so now, on the right-hand side, uh, we're, we're saying, well, OK, see, there's a lot more options um, than we had before. When I showed you, there were only two places. So again, you have file handling. Do you want to do previews, standard previews, um, which I recommend. <coughs> you could do minimal or embedded in sidecar, but then as you go through each image and you want to see it, even if it's fit to screen, it's going to take a moment to render. So I typically go to standard. If you want to do the whole job as, as one to one, you could do that. Um, but I usually go, excuse me, with standard. Um, I'm not building smart previews. If you wanted to, um, and I used to do this before I started using this Lexar drive, I, I, would, I would bring them in through Lightroom one card at a time, and I would make a second copy to a a small external drive that I had that I used as a backup. And basically, that was just a temporary place because at the end of the day, I got through my, my edit and I've copied them onto my, they are on my images, the external drive, and, and I did a backup of that drive. So I would no longer need my, my uh, download backup drive. So that's a temporary thing. You, you can choose to use it or not. Again, you could add it to a collection. You could rename the files as you bring them in, um, or you can, um, I, I usually recommend doing the file rename afterwards, and I'm going to talk about that. Again, you want to copyright uh, metadata or, or uh, do any presets, develop presets, your keywords from, global keywords from the shoot. Now here's where you have um, some more options, and, and so many times this is where people get confused. Um, you got to look at where these are going. Okay, uh, right now it's into my pictures folder. Um, and if I close my Mac hard drive, okay, it's only showing me the live, um, the live destinations now, which is fine. Um, so I'm going to open this up. And it was into users. I, Pictures, okay, so it's into the pictures folder. So the way I have it set up on my other hard drive is it, 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 I would choose which category I want it to go into. Right now, since we're, um, we're doing this here, I would just do it um, into my pictures folder. And so whatever you have highlighted here, if you use this option for your destination into subfolder, it's going to go into the highlighted folder here and it's going to create a subfolder and you you can choose not to do that if you don't want to if you don't want to bother you can choose a subfolder and you can just name it and we'll call it ppgny demo okay i usually i usually um, name these subfolders by date first so i would i would typically put the year and then the date and then an underscore and so they're going to line up in sequential order, chronological order. 
Um, and now this part here is you want it to go into one folder. That's, that's key if you want to be in control. What happens a lot of times is people have, the default is by date, and, and people just leave that, and then it's going to go into a subfolder called this name that you gave it, and it's going to be organized by date. You're going to get extra child folders, if you will, extra sets of subfolders, which is, it just gets very confusing, especially if, you, if your master set is by date, and then you're, you're, you're just adding extra layers of complication here. So the key thing is, is organize into one folder. But you can bring in anything, as long as you have the current version, um, you can bring in any camera, and, and just it, it's all going to be mixed in the folder. And then you can, using Lightroom, once you're in the grid module, you can sort by capture time or by um, a file name, file type rather. File type. And, and there's some other way. You can sort by serial number, which I'm going to get to. Um, so just as you're, as you're importing, if you, if you do it through Lightroom, just organize it into one folder. That's, that's the key thing to, to remember from this. But that's the way you would do it. And, and I would do it, I mean, before I started using this, this guy, I would, each, each card I would do, I would import standard previews, and I basically I'd walk away. Um, it's like my morning routine after, after a wedding. I, I get up, I start a card, I go and start breakfast, I go back, I do the next card. I just put, just keep going through, and then I sit down, and, and I'm ready to work at everything. And, and it's best not to be working on something while you're doing an import, while you're doing, while previews are being built because that uses up uh, computer power. It may be less of an issue now because computers are generally uh, more robust than they, they used to be. But um, I just sort of got into the habit of, of letting the, the entire job uh, download and build previews before I start the edit.